Coronavirus has left the healthcare systems of some of the world's richest countries barely able to cope. So what will happen in the developing world where tens of millions of people already face a struggle just to survive? Here, medical facilities are often basic, people far poorer and living conditions more crowded. Italy, one of the countries with the highest death toll in the world, they started with about 80 ventilators for every 1 million people and they're trying to increase that number. Here in Kenya, it's thought to be around 5 for every 1 million people, but it's even worse elsewhere in Africa. In Nigeria, it's about 0 0.8 for every 1 million people. In South Asia right now, countries are racing to try and buy more ventilators. At the moment in Pakistan and Afghanistan, there are less than 10 per million people, whilst in India, there are around 11 per million. Italy struggled to find enough ventilators for coronavirus patients, but these countries have far fewer. So far, the number of confirmed coronavirus cases in the developing world is low when compared to those in Europe and America. But so is the number of tests that have been carried out many more cases are likely to be simply undetected. What we don't know is how many. In the UK, there are around 28 doctors per 10,000 people, whilst in the Democratic Republic of Congo, there's not even one doctor per 10,000 of the population. In Afghanistan, there are less than three whilst in Nigeria, close to four. India and Pakistan have a slightly better ratio, but still around three times fewer doctors per capita than the UK. You get a sense of the challenges coronavirus presents here when it takes something as simple as hand washing. In the Western world, this is something everyone has access to. But here in Kibera, community groups have come together to set up hand washing facilities. And even in Africa's largest economy, Nigeria, only four out of every 10 people have access to basic hand washing facilities at home. Whilst in Pakistan and India, only six in 10 do. That's around 600 million people without access to basic hand washing facilities at home in those two countries alone. There's been some suggestion the warmer climate here will mean that coronavirus won't spread so quickly. But there's no conclusive evidence of that yet. Others hope that because the population in the developing world is generally younger, people here won't be as badly affected by it. The average age in Pakistan is 22, whilst in Nigeria it's around 19. Compare that to around 47 in Italy and 41 in the UK. But people can be vulnerable for different reasons. Here in South Asia, there are high rates of diabetes and lung disease. And there are plenty of other factors to bear in mind too. Like overcrowding in urban areas, it's common here for whole families to live in a single room. Malnutrition rates are also among the highest in the world. A lot of this comes down to a lack of spending in healthcare. In Nigeria and the DRC, they spend under 4% of GDP, whilst in India, it's 35 and Bangladesh, a little over 2%. Compare that to around 9% in places like Italy or the UK. 